uh, needs time needs more time to think. And then of course Nicole shows up to get Sally so they can leave. Uh, Sally apologizes to Nicole saying she has something to say, but Nicole already knows what she's going to say. And she knows that she's going to talk about about uh, Dr. LED's daughter and everything and that Nicole points out that when she was okay basically Nicole already knows what Sally's going to say and that is about Dr. LED's daughter and how she was created from that and that when she and she also points out that when she was in uh, the system hiding from Phage she had discovered uh, several old files now Sally tries to point out that Nicole it's not your fault that Nikki didn't make it you weren't even you then you know she tries to say hey look it's not really your fault you weren't even where you were were now you weren't even where you are now then and Nicole and Nicole basically says look I know that and uh, she points out I'm trying to make sure I get everything correct here but she she says she knows that but she realizes she was created because Dr. LED was trying to save his daughter's life hoping that if her body failed her mind would live on on would live on an earlier version of the digitizer and she says as an AI she was to scan out a neural network for Nikki to adapt to, but Nikki never had the chance. And that she thinks, Nicole thinks, it was how she adapted, it was, that it was she who had adapted, Nicole that is, to the scans instead of Nikki. A digital version of an organic mind. And basically it explains how she was able to develop from what she used to be. And she even questions that. She says, it's, it explains how I was, she even questions this when she says, it explains how I was able to develop from what I used to be, doesn't it? And that her potential for, for growth uh, came at the cost of Nikki's life. Therefore, she does understand why the why Dr. Elodie doesn't want to interact with her for the time. Now, of course, the doctor does approach him, hands the red ring to Nicole, basically explaining uh, to take one for herself, and that and that he points out out that right now. He doesn't have the time to do any research or anything, and that he had, because he has to get his lab up and running again, and that she'll have more time than he is to do the research and analyze what's you know the powers and stuff, the effects that go with the red ring, and that whatever she finds, she could also send to him. So basically, our story ends with. Nicole thanking him, saying, of course, she will do just that. And the story ends with, Sal with Nicole deciding, you know what, Sally, instead of writing back in my, hand held, in my hand held like I'm used to, I'm going to let the wind brush against my... I want to feel the wind. Basically, she says that she thinks for today she'd like to feel the wind on her face. So basically, she rides back with them just like a Sally and Bigwood. So, overall, um, I, I know some people, like I said, have a difference of opinion when it comes to Spark of Life, and, um, you know, that's their opinion and everything, and I can understand when you look at the ending, how they feel kind of uh, went downhill a little bit, and that even though it was potentially a good story, and even Issue 74 was a potentially good and decent conclusion, I could see why some of them felt it kind of fell flat because of the ending, that the ending was more of a du ex ex machina ending and it just came out of nowhere. Um, 
That might be true, but I think when you interpret uh, what you read in that story, and let me check my time here, as well as the battery life. <laughs> yeah, this might be in two parts, so I apologize. But when, when you interpret uh, the story and everything, you, you kind of look at it from, from that perspective. You, you, you got to look at some of the panels and everything. And like the last panel, one of the last panels after Sally's embracing Nicole in her super form, Nicole has this look of curiosity on her face and, and intrigue. Like, you know there's going to be more to this story. You know there's going to be more to this overclocked Nicole super form than what we have here. And, and to me, I think, I think that's a good thing. I think that is a good thing. Um, uh, overall, I thought it was a decent conclusion. Like I said, I know some people have their opinions on it, and that's fine. You know, you have a right to it. If you feel it was uh, a lame-ass conclusion and ending, that's, that's your right. Go ahead and uh, have your right to it. Um, but to me, I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. And I do recommend you picking it up. I really do. Whether you download it like I do and possibly get the physical copy like I'm going to later on, or you just um, just read it through torrents and all that, I do recommend picking it up because you will enjoy it. So uh, that's all I'm going to say, folks. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Again, I apologize this being in two parts. And I will talk to you all later. Thank you all for watching.